Yeah. 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 Welcome back, Mike. Real quick, uh, you had a couple thoughts before we move on to J High. Well, hey, you know, one thing about it is when you got a uh, a weapon like the Trey Morris back there on the kickoff returns. He's now run back, what, one kickoff each game? I tell you what, that's a weapon to have back there uh, on your uh, special team. Yeah, you would have thought, we, like what you kept saying in the booth, well, yeah, after he ran the first one back, well, yeah. that's the only opportunity he's going to get. Well, they kicked it right back to him. They kept kicking it to him. Yeah. Well, note to self, other teams, don't kick it to him. Yeah. Well, we don't kick it to him. Well, it's not like he try, He just has speed and tries to get to the outside. He, if they call a block up the middle, I mean, he hits the hole. I mean, you can tell he hits the hole hard, gets up there, and then he kicks it out. I mean, he, it's not just fleeing for his body. I mean, he hits those holes and busts it out. Yeah, and one thing when you do, when you run kickoffs, it's pretty much you just bust it straight ahead like he does. There's none of this dancing around or anything, and his boom finds a hole, and there he goes. Find a hole, kick to the outside, and that's what you got to do on those kickoffs. Real quick, some scores around the district. Of course, Berry Hill, top of Cushion, 28-27. Blackwell, top of Newkirk, 38-12. Uh, battle of Cleveland and Manford. Cleveland got him 16-7. But big match up for us this weekend. The two of you, how are we going to fare on that? We're going to hammer Are we? Hammer time or just hammer uh, at least a half a hammer time. Hammer time! That's what I'm kind of thinking. At yeah. least, I'd say at least three tests and maybe four. Yeah. But we can talk about that even a bit more. Okay. Harry Chaw 39, Clinton 29. That, that was kind of a that big game. surprise. Yeah, Harry yeah. Chaw, uh, I, uh, I heard their coach interview him on the radio the other day, and, and they were kind of talking about it, and they were talking about some few teams to watch out. And of course, they said, you know, Cushing is going to be tough. They got a good squad. But really, it kind of seemed like they were looking past us towards Kingfisher, how that was going to be kind of the decision of district. So, well, uh, they kind of fire our boys up a little bit, kind of looking past it. Well, yeah, you could think that, you know, Kingfisher, Perry Hall, us, and that's what they might make even Perkins in there, the top four out right in that area. Got a new coach, got, got a lot of things uh, yeah. happening. Yeah. Uh, John Marshall, 45, Centennial, 12. And then there you go, Perkins, 42, McLeod, 9. Which I thought that was kind of surprising. I didn't know. I thought maybe Perkins would win, but not 42 to 9. Got a good squad. Yeah. Be, be an interesting game. Look forward to that one. Moving on to some J High. I, did you go to the game? I wasn't able to make it over to Glenpool. No. But you were there. there. It was the game before that. Was it the game before that? Yeah, it was... Uh... Who'd they play? Oh, Cleveland? Yeah, they Cle yeah the yeah. Cleveland game. Oh, uh, hey. The seventh grade? The Cleveland team? There's not much to talk about there. Cleveland was not good. And I'm sorry, Cleveland, if you get a hold of this, if you tune in and watch personal foul. Sorry. Copy the clip, show it to your players, use it as motivation because you need it. Yeah. You ain't that good. I mean, he's <laughs> they, they were bad. They were terrible. I think there was like four pick sixes in that game. I'm pretty sure it, it wasn't very good. But anyways, so uh, that was that. Uh, this week, uh, this no, it was last week. Seventh grade beat Cleveland 39 nothing. Uh, well, eighth grade actually lost 28 to seven. Cleveland eighth grade was pretty good. And then the ninth grade won 19 to eight. It was a close game there. Uh, and all that. Anyways, a uh, little CYCC action. Tigers battled out uh, Old Mogey. Which you know Old Mogey's always tough. Always they, tough. they always have good 4th, 5th, 6th grade teams. And uh, uh, the 4th grade got their uh, first win, 8-6. So, you know, that was a good good win for them. 5th uh, grade lost 28 to nothing. And the 6th grade uh, actually also lost 24-8. to So, you know, but you know they, and and the sixth grade actually played Perkins in the championship last year. That's right. And Perkins got beat by this old Mogi team. Old Mogi's beat both teams that were in the Super Bowl last year. So they got a good squad. So they got a good squad. I mean, they have good speed. And hey, hey, their teams are big. Who be uh, who they got coming up next? They're traveling over to Stillwater next, and uh, the the game's on the turf field. They're playing on the turf field, so that'll be nice. For all those kids, they're gonna they're gonna enjoy that experience. Yeah, our coaches will probably appreciate that too because it looks like some rain and stuffs moving in this weekend. And uh, and you know when you're playing little kids football and it's gonna rain a bunch, 
You're always worried about tearing up the field, stuff that this hey, in this case, hey, you know you're playing less than like playing, so don't have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, also, real quick, uh, youth center stuff, we got soccer starting up uh, the 22nd, which is Monday. You ready to go for that? A lot of fun. Come on out, support your kiddos. Uh, you'll enjoy it, you'll have a good time. But uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more personal fouls. Okay, we have five more seconds. <laughs> <laughs>